rock out this holiday season and save Christmas in the process. We're taking a quick peek at Santa Rockstar Steam Edition. Santa Rockstar Steam Edition, or Santa Rockstar HD, is a holiday-themed rhythm game by Beko Team. It's the first title they've released on a platform like Steam, but far from the first thing they've ever produced. Their website is full of previous projects using different formats such as Flash, HTML, as well as Unity. Until now, Beko teams mostly made only small online titles or mobile games. Titles that focus on smaller experiences with a large amount of them being a bit too similar to larger brands. Games like Road Crossy and Tropical Ninja are basically nothing more than clones of Crossy Road and Fruit Ninja that can be played online instead of on your phone. While not all of their games may be original ideas, it does give Beko Team a good amount of experience when it comes to game development. Santa Rockstar itself has its origins in this practice. The original Santa Rockstar was a Flash game, released on websites like Congregate in 2008. Those were the days where Guitar Hero and Rock Band had been dominating the rhythm game market since 2005. Their high popularity led to some spin-offs and hobbyist projects, such as DJ Hero and Frets on Fire. Throughout the years, Beko Team has been upping their game with the concept of a holiday-themed Guitar Hero, making five Flash games, a non-holiday spin-off, and bringing the idea to the mobile marketplace. Each new project increased in quality with the original release of Santa Rockstar HD in 2011. The version of the game available on Steam seems to be a reworking of that particular project, but relabeled as Santa Rockstar Steam Edition, which I will now refer to as SE from now on. The biggest thing holding back the series has always been the lack of controller support. Using programs such as Xpatter or Joy to Key, you can fake using a Guitar Hero controller to work as keyboard inputs, but without some kind of native support, the games never felt quite right. Beko Team did the best they could to set up some decent key bindings, and have always let you customize them yourself. But I found it a lot more difficult than I expected to play this kind of game with a keyboard. It's just not natural, and the mobile version is even worse. Thankfully, Santa Rockstar HD has full-on controller support, and after I dusted off the spiderwebs, I was able to get it natively working with my Guitar Hero 3 controller that I haven't used in years. I was honestly surprised with how well it worked. The game plays pretty much exactly like Guitar Hero, but on the PC, which was uncommon for that series. Notes flow down the middle of the screen, with the expectation of exploding when they come across one of the colored spots. Pressing the corresponding key will set off the note, and depending on which control scheme you're using will depend if you have to strum or not as well. The basic keyboard controls don't require any kind of strumming, as you just need to press the key at the appropriate time. Playing using the Rockstar setting lets you use a strum key on your keyboard. The Rockstar setting is also what lets you use your controller if you happen to have one. The game has everything from tab notes, which are similar to Guitar Hero's hammer-on mechanic, quick notes that can be played without strumming, as well as star power to be collected by playing a string of power notes correctly. Each note gives you points and activating star power will make notes worth more points. The only thing missing from Guitar Hero's controls is the whammy bar, which makes sense since I don't know how you would emulate that on a keyboard. The opening cutscene in Santa Rockstar SE is rather well animated, but the story is pretty simple. Some metalhead finds Santa's sleigh wrecked on the side of the road. The jolly old elf has seen better days, and instead of calling a hospital or doing anything sensible, the metalhead hooks Santa up to his guitar and uses his musical talent to absorb the soul of Santa Claus. Now, as Metal Santa, 
He can save Christmas with the power of music. That's about as metal as you can get for a holiday game. If there's one thing I'll give Santa Rockstar SE, it's how fantastic its 2D artwork is. I mean, look at this menu screen. It has no right to be this flippin' awesome. It's stupid. It's stupid awesome. The main goal of the game is to go around the world, at least this part of the world, and deliver gifts via cannon to the masses. Also providing some fantastic metal renditions of classic Christmas songs. I wasn't entirely sure what to expect from the music selection in this game, but I was rather impressed with it. Most of it's the same royalty-free holiday songs you've heard a million times before, but I really enjoyed these particular metal versions. The music was done by Charlie Para Del Rigo, a Peruvian guitarist and solo artist. He's been part of bands like Defania and Serial Asesino, and these tracks definitely benefit from his experience. Del Rigo does a fantastic job, not only recreating the classic sounds from each song, but also adding a good bit of flair to each one to keep them interesting. There are 15 tracks total, and only one or two felt even close to underwhelming to me. Unfortunately, there aren't any kind of vocals for any of the songs, as each one is only an instrumental. They all have a good bit of production behind them, but some of them feel like they're missing something that I think vocals could have helped with. It's a little bit weird to see Santa Claus playing metal renditions of traditional religious Christmas songs like God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. But I'd have to put Del Rigo's rendition of this song up there as one of my favorites, along with their rendition of Carol of the Bells. That track, along with a few others, unfortunately kind of end abruptly. That song also has a long section at the start without any notes to play. I have it some of the later songs continue. Santa Rockstar SE also has a couple of original tracks such as Santa's Journey Begins and Little Bells for You. At least, I think they're original tracks. I've never heard of them regardless, and since the same person did all of the music and most of its royalty-free classics, the game doesn't tell you who made the original versions. The last section of the game seems to all be original stuff, which is good, since that last level is basically Santa driving his sleigh through hell, and the original tracks fit that theme better than traditional Christmas music would. One track in particular, No Presents For You, sounds more like something from Doom than a holiday-themed game. Unlike the original Guitar Hero, you can't pick which song you want to play in each set. Picking an area will usually play all of the songs in that set. If you want to play a song individually on its own, you can use the quick play system, but the fact that there isn't any kind of real break in between the songs in a set can be a little bit tiring. Backgrounds in the game are rather basic and mostly unimpressive when compared to the 2D artwork of the main menu. There are some 3D models that do a horrible job at miming their instruments, but since anyone playing the game will pretty much be only looking at the notes, it's not that big of a deal. It is kind of annoying that no matter which area you pick, the backgrounds don't really change at all. They're always Santa and his band flying down the highway playing songs on their sleigh while firing presents every which way. The background behind the sleigh is the only thing that changes, and I feel that's a bit of a missed opportunity. Even the mobile game, which uses the same sleigh and backgrounds, at least let you pick new characters and guitars. I did come across a few glitches, however. At one point while playing through a song, the game began to jump around and became really choppy for no reason. My frame rate was fine, but the game jumped around for a few seconds. It only happened once, but it did make me miss some notes, which is rather annoying. I also only seemed to be able to activate star power once per song. I don't know if it was the game or the fault of my aged controller, but even though I had filled the star meter, it wouldn't activate for a second time. Overall, I was rather impressed with the quality of Santa Rockstar Steam Edition. 
I'd never played any of the previous versions of this game before trying out the Steam version, and I wasn't really sure what to expect when first diving into it. Mostly, I was only drawn to the game by the music I heard in the trailer. While it is somewhat a clone of Guitar Hero, that series is pretty much dead at this point, and Santa Rockstar Steam Edition does just enough to stand out on its own. I don't think I'm able to recommend the game if you only have a keyboard to play it with, as I really did not like the keyboard controls at all. If you happen to have a plastic guitar controller and seven bucks on hand while looking for a Christmas game that isn't shovelware, then I'd say check it out, if only for the music at the very least. It's a shame that the soundtrack isn't sold on its own and only sold as DLC to the main game. I happen to really enjoy it, and if you're a fan of metal or rock music, you might enjoy it as well. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think about the game or this video in the comments section. I've been Mega Pie Man, and I'll talk to you guys later. Want to see more quick peeks? Then click on one of the videos on the screen. On the left, I took a look at the claymation action RPG, Don't Open the Doors. And on the right, I looked at Cursed Castilla, a hardcore platformer inspired by 80s arcades.